Hi there, so my name is Craig Clayton. I'm a tutor here at Rotherham College Motor Vehicle Department and this is an introduction for our how-to video on how to set valve clearances on a typical four-cylinder engine. The first thing to do when carrying out this valve clearance procedure is to remove the rocker cover and we'll put that to one side. Now in front of us we have eight valves identified by the red rocker arms on the top of this engine. As we can see the eight rocker arms control the valves which are here. What we do to set the clearances is we use a procedure called rule of nine. The rule of nine procedure requires us to pair up the valves one and eight, two and seven, three and six, four and five and once we have paired them up we just need to remember a simple okay method that if valve one is completely open i.e. the rocker arm is pushing it completely down like we can see on valve two here then we set the opposite pair so if that one's completely down at number two i would set number seven for its valve clearance what we're going to do is we're going to follow the method of starting with valve one we're going to ensure that valve one is completely open i.e. that the rocker arm is pushed completely down and as you can see here stop that valve now is completely okay open we can now set valve 8 using our spanner and screwdriver and feeler gauges so the feeler gauges is fed in between the rocker arm and the top of the valve and what we're feeling for is a clearance of 0.3 millimeters in this case between the two surfaces if that particular clearance needs adjusting that is carried out by using the spanner and adjusting the screw to adjust the gap in this end so now valve 8 is set we can now go on to valve 2 and set now valve 7 Okay, now valve 7 is done, we can move by opening valve 3 to set valve 6. Okay, now valve 3 is set, we can now move on to setting and closing valve 4 to set valve 5. and now that is half of the valve set we now reverse the procedure by closing valve 8 completely to set valve 1 alright we can now move on to closing valve 7 to set valve 2 Alright, now we move on to setting valve 3 by closing valve 6. And finally, we can now close valve 5 to set valve 4. This completes the valve clearance setting procedure.